Right, hello and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Become Detroit Become Human with me, Hooch. I've just booted up the game and it's asking me if I want to do a survey. There's no menu with this game, it just throws you straight in. There's no thought to try and record it for YouTube. Anyway, let's do this survey. I presume it's part of the game and not just something else. Let's start. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? I'd consider having a relationship with a doll that looks like a human. <laughs> I wouldn't really. Technology could become a threat to mankind? Of course it could. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Ooh. Well. None of them. Um, an instrument. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Oh, yeah. What technology do you most anticipate? Space tourism, baby. God. I do not. Would you let an android take care of your children? I don't have any. Uh, I don't know. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Are you my mother? Two hours? If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Yeah. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Yeah. Okay. So what's that got to do with anything? Right, Nothing. Jack. That was a short break, but I'm glad to see you again. I don't know if that should have been part of it or not. Oh well. Now we do get to continue. That's not good. Low power mode. No idea what's going on this. Last time I knew I played this game, I was in a house. Got a leg off. Replace legs.
Man, them controls are horrible when you have to move the controller. that leg. Magic legs. And she's going to be grim through here. optical unit pump regulator and an audio processor. the most interesting parts is it hey what's going on with everyone get off I don't know there's a light on this man it might be I'm gonna have a look oh no it's rat. What about over here? No. No, I need to find the bitch tonight. Get back down, get back down, get back down. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That one looks good. I knew it would be. Just want to borrow that, mate. Just check that out of there. Gotta be like Trigger's Broom by the time I've finished. Feeling better now, though, eh? Let's 
get up. What you got for me there, dude? Bingo! Let me your ears. That's quite clever. Now if you could just stop doing that with the camera, because if I'm honest with you, it's hurting my head. Mate. Get your eyeball then. Anyone got a spare eyeball? This is where we started from over here, on it? Yeah, that's the wall of arms. That's something coming to the post box. Yo, can I buy your eye? Yes, aye aye. Oh man! Yeah, man, we're all good now. Tip top look, brand new. Got new legs, got new heart, got new ears, and new eyes. Good as new. To throw a cheeky R2 in there, didn't you? To confuse me. What are you going to do with that?
who is pissed. He's took his restraining bolt off. Okay, Marcus came back from the dead. Find Amanda. Any idea where she's likely to be? So we're not running around, walking around aimlessly for ages. Or you're going to leave me straight there, but you want me to. There she is. See how clever your little garden thing is. Yo, Amanda, that you? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation oh. that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. I did a bad thing. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You are the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. I did a bad thing with that answer. I will. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Reed. 
Detective Collins. Lieutenant Anderson. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Oh, I'll sit down for then if I've just got to get strapped back up again. He's going to be pissed when he finds me listening to his shit. Knights of the Black Death. He likes heavy metal. Great. Android slogans. He likes basketball. He likes donuts. He don't look after his bonsai. He didn't drink his coffee. Smokes, oh, was that the name of the bar at Jimmy's Bar? He's got a dog. And he was in a department that's dismantled. dismantled. Detroit Police Dismantle a Network of Red Ice Dealers. Oh, that's what he did. That's he, they weren't dismantled, they dismantled that. More than 50 arrests throughout the country and Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high profile, profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotic seas with a street value of $500,000. Just show me that street once. I didn't want to go there once. If things are worth 500 grand. It's always this magic street. He was promoted to lieutenant, blah, blah, blah. He was a badass. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. I wasn't really invited, but... I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. 
I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. Moody in here, isn't it? It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk? Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. The lab report says they cut it with something. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Good sauce. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay, someone's gone missing. Went to work, came home. Gone. This one has been attacked somebody working as a waiter. Tried to strangle him. This one attacked by an android in a home. Trash the place. Sex android model disappeared, never returned. Scan all files. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Well, I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. 
I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Well, I'll fuck that conversation up as well. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Cock that one up as well. Right, well, that's the half hour mark. Mm, not so good. Hank is mad. Yeah, and perhaps should have been in the bottom box. But oh well, you live and you learn. It's my story. <clears throat> and it just works out the way it works out. Right, so we'll call that the end of episode five of Let's Play Detroit Become Human. And I'll be straight back with episode six. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and until next time, to our bit.